Hey guys, Deviator here. In this series, we're going to be going through setting up enemy AI. We're going to start with something basic, such as this turret you can see right here. Um, and once we get the fundamentals down for that, we'll move on to something a little bit more advanced, such as this flying jet you just seen cruise by me. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do for our turret is get a model. Now I found this model online. Um, if I get permission, I will post a link to this model and you guys can download it and follow along with me exactly. Um, if not, you're kind of on your own. But don't worry because the model is not going to really affect this process. It's going to be the same setup no matter what model you have. So don't worry too much about that. So with the model I'm using, I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, it comes in two pieces. I have the base here. Um, I've thrown just some basic collision on there. I actually added the collision here in... Uh, Unreal. Um, and this is going to be the base for our turret. Um, the guns are going to sit and pivot on top of this. And then we actually have the upper portion of the turret, which is our guns. Um, I've also thrown collision on this. Uh, one thing you want to do, whether you're using a similar model or one you've created, is at the end of your barrels, you're going to want to set up um, some sockets. I have two barrels, so I created two sockets, one called barrel underscore one, and the other called barrel underscore two. Now, if you don't know how to create sockets, I'll show you real quick. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner, you should see a socket manager. If you don't, come up to window and click socket manager. Uh, once the socket manager is open, just click create socket. A new socket will appear. You can rename that and position that accordingly. Um, and I've just bumped mine out in front of the ends of my barrels. Um, you don't want them too close um, because depending on the projectile that you're going to be shooting, um, you might have some collision issues. So uh, just put them out a little ways. You can always move them um, at a later point in time. So once you have that set up, um, we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, the next thing you want to do is create a blueprint and the blueprint is going to be an actor. I've just named mine enemy turret. I'll just go ahead and open that up. And once you have your blueprint uh, open, the first thing you want to do is add components. You can see I've already added mine. Um, for my root, um, essentially all I did was just add a box. A bo I just go up to component and type in box. We'll see box. Let's go ahead and add one of those. And I changed the collision to no collision for the time being. Um, then I added a new component which, that was a static mesh and uh, I set that as my turret base um, and I put the collision to block all. And then I added another static mesh component for my turret guns and set the collision to block all as well. So once you have all of your components in your blueprint, uh, we're going to hop over to our graph. And the first thing we want to do here is we're going to set up um, all of our variables. We're just going to set them up now. Uh, that way when we get to them, they're all done and we don't have to worry about it. So the first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to just right click variable and we're going to change the type to float and this first variable is going to be called barrel length um, then we're going to add a, another variable and that's also going to be a float and we're going to call this one rotation speed and our third variable is going to be a float as well and we're going to call that one um, fire interval and we're going to create another float and this one's going to be called attack range uh, one thing here real quick before we continue on with the variables is this is kind of a nice little tip uh, I like to have them organized so I can get to them quickly uh, so let's just say you click on barrel length right now down on category it's set to default um, if you actually select that 
Uh, I'm just going to type in for this one, let's say, um, if I can actually select it here, uh, turret uh, settings. Um, now you see, once I do that, um, there, there's a little tab called turret settings, and it's underneath there. So I can just go ahead and put these other ones in here. So if I click on rotation speed, go down to category, select the drop down menu, you'll see turret settings. Um, I'm just going to put all those floats we created under turret settings. Um, we'll just close that up. Um, so now what we're going to need is another variable. It's going to be a float as well. This one's going to be called delta time. And I'm not going to put this one under turret settings. It's going to be kind of more of a global variable. So it'll be out on its own. And then I'm going to create a, another variable. This one is going to be a bool. And I'm going to call this one enemy in range um, I'm just gonna hit compile quick now once you hit compile um, you can actually set the value uh, for these variables uh, delta time we're gonna set during runtime so we're gonna leave that uh, enemy range we're gonna set to false so if you leave this bo box unchecked that's false if you check it it's true under turret settings uh, barrel length. I'm going to set that to 4.0. Rotation speed. We're going to set to 1.0. And fire interval. We're going to set to 1.0. And attack range. We will set that to let's say 8,000. Uh, now, when we actually implement these variables, um, I'll come back and explain them and what they do and how you can change them to get different effects and whatnot. Uh, so I'm going to stop the video right here. In the next part, we will start adding some functionality to our turret.